Hi everyone, this is Aidy from Aidy's Crafts and Things. Today we're going to be talking about color blocking and switching from one color to the other. Um, color blocking, I'll explain a bit more on it later, but it will make sure that you have nice clean ends whenever you change from one color to another. So stay tuned, grab your yarn, your hook, let's get started. For coming back so I'm gonna be showing you a couple of examples of how to do um, color changing and color blocking so essentially whenever you're wanting to go from one color to another and make it look seamless now this is a little patch or swatch that I made for a different video um, so from this one I'm gonna show you one of the two ways that you can change from one color to the next so whenever you get to the end of your row instead of finishing that stitch First thing you do is you grab your other yarn so I'm going to be using this gray for the example and we're just going to hold it as if you were going to start just with a, a new row or something and we're just going to go ahead and hook it and we're going to go ahead and finish that last stitch so that whenever you look at it from here, you can barely even tell on the finished product. From here, you can just go ahead and do the next row. Okay. Now, the other way to do it would be by finishing that stitch. And from here, you could either um, make it into a little knot and cut, especially for projects where you have um, a lot more colors and you're not gonna be using this for a while. So you can cut your, your yarn and then you would grab the new one and this one you're gonna really start it off as a new one. So you would go ahead and do your slip knot, whichever way you do it is fine. And then from here, I usually hold that first loop with one of my fingers, yarn over, and then I grab my, my little project here and I do my double crochet. Okay. Um, and then from there, you just keep going with this color until you're ready to switch. So those would be the easiest ways to do your color block and finish with the color on the row and start the next row okay now let's say that you wanted to change colors in between the swatch so again we're going to be i'm just going to do some of these stitches so you would again start your stitch but don't finish Doing that last loop, you would yarn, grab your other yarn, yarn over, pull it through, and then from here you would just do your next stitch. Now there's different ways that you can carry the yarn across. You can just get it like to lie really close to the top of your project. So it's a bit harder to see it and then whenever you're ready to switch back to the first color then you just switch yarns yarn over pull up a loop and then keep going okay you'll see on the back you would then at the end work all your ends and sew them in or weave them into your project so that you don't see them as much. You can see this one, I didn't actually grab it on the first go. So that's the, the different ways that you can do that and just switching it back and forth. Okay. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. 
Let me know which option you like best and which one you use the most. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel uh, so that you get notifications for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.